Within local Gov Drupal, there are various content types and a service page is probably the most commonly used. If you use a service page, it addresses one user need or one task and is usually a quite a brief page. This example here is about the Tell Us Once service, which is a service that the government offer that you can use if someone has died. You'll see that it's purely just about that service. It explains a little bit about it. Um, it says about how to use it and then it has some details about if you've been issued with a certificate, what to do. So it's really purely just about tell us once. You'll see it's got a, a related link on the right hand side there. And it has this blue box down here, which is called a page component. So that is what a service page actually is in terms of creating one. When you log in, you need to go to content and then add content and you can add a new service page or just click on content and then you'll see this blue button. So if you click add content, it's the same list, just a different view. So you'll see it's got a description here. So it's saying a basic page that can be placed in a service and on a service sub landing page. So that is a service page. You've got three options here, content, task buttons and related content. So the first tab content, you set the parent. So in this instance, it's deaths and stillbirth. So assuming we're going to create that tell us once page, you just need to start typing anything with these magnifying glasses as a lookup. And then the page that you want, you just click on it. Then you've got the tit title. So you put the title in. So tell us once. And the summary text is this piece of text here. So how to use the tell us once service if someone has died. Then you have the body. So this is everything from this here all the way down to this last paragraph here. We won't go into it at the moment because it's covered in the introduction to look the Drupal but you could use these formatting and styling menus to create your content but we won't do that for now but anyway that's where you put the body of the um, text. I'm also not going to cover revision log messages or URLs or authoring or publishing because that's covered in the introduction to like we have Drupal. And then the last thing on this page is this option here, which is page components. If you click that, it will show you that you can add or select a component. So on this page, this box here where it says send us a message is a contact component, which has been added onto the bottom of the page. But again, that is a universal feature. So we're going to cover that in the introduction to local Glove Drupal. The second tab here is task buttons. So this one doesn't have any, but task buttons can sit along the top. So it's these kind of buttons here that are key user needs generally that you want somebody to be aware of. Um, so you'll see that it allows you to add <coughs> various ones here. So in terms of filling them in, again, it has this magnifying glass that's a look up. So Say you wanted to link to another page within the, in the death section, you could um, link to reporting a death to the coroner. Then it has this option of link text. So that would be this text that appears here. So that can be whatever you want. So it could be report to death to the coroner or wherever you want it to be. And then you have these types. So you've got action or information um, again, these are styled the way that um, Cumbria wanted them styled, but depending on how they were styled, they probably would look and feel different depending on which one you chose. So um, we'll leave that as action. And then you can fill various ones in depending on how many you want. And then the final tab here is related content. So in our example, You see that we had a related link of register of death on the right hand side. So
So there's two elements to this. There's topic terms and there's related links. And uh, again, we're not going to go into this in this video, but topic terms, you could have a topic term that was um, bereavement, for instance, and that would group together all the bereavement content. So you could look for it here and just attach it. Um, or, and this is what I had on the previous Tell Us, Tell Us Once page, what's happened is that's been overwritten and a single related link has been added instead. So to do that, you click this replace automatically generated links and you would look up um, register of death. So again, you start typing and you find the um, page that you want to link to. You add the link text, register a death. There's also this attributes here. So this is basically targeting if you wanted to open in the cell window or a new window. And then you save. Uh, you'll see that it's added that register death link on the right hand side here. It's added that button here. Um, the reason it looks so large, it just that's just, we're doing this on a development server. So it, it just hasn't been styled correctly, but that would be a normal button size. Uh, you've got the title and you've got this summary below it and then you've got the body text here and you can see that it's placed this page within the breadcrumb trail under deaths and stillbirths. If you want to find that page, if you click on content, this is a chronological list of all contents. So you'll see it's the most recent one listed here. And then also if you go to content type um, and click service page and filter, this will show you all service pages within the site. So if you just want to see service pages, that's how to find them. So that's the end of that tutorial. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in other videos or new content that we produce, if you click the subscribe button, uh, that will subscribe, subscribe you to the local Gov Drupal channel and, in, and then you can be made aware of any new videos that we produce. Thank you.